Alright, I made up my mind. I'm not surrendering. I am gonna work on this, but instead of like doing a video montage, I'm gonna make a series out of it. Um, I'm also gonna be working on my masking with this kit. So hopefully this works out fine for me. So this is probably gonna be like five, six, seven videos all together. Just trying to finish this kit. Hopefully less than that, but yeah. Picking up where I left off, I am just gonna start gluing this biatch because there is no way in hell I could build this, break it, break it apart, and then paint it. Can't do it. Not gonna happen. <gasps> Am I missing some parts? Oh no. Okay, so um, here's the plan. Um, I've already picked out the colors that I'm gonna use, which is the G Paint Gunmetal, the Mr. Metallic Red Gold. This is gonna be the primary color for the build. The next color is the Metal Bloody Red. It's hard to center this thing. Metal, metal Bloody Red right there. Third color will be the SPA's Champagne Silver. I don't know if people can see the writing out of this. Um, Alclad's Copper. Metallic Copper or whatever. Lacquer. I might use this. This is also a uh, the Rough Gold. Mr. Metallic Color. Rough Gold right here. So this is the plan. I'm gonna be gluing them right away and um, painting them right away as I go. If there's parts in here that I think was uh, would need some kind of painting right away because I'm gonna glue them in immediately, I'm gonna paint them in immediately and then glue them together after. I don't know if that made any sense but You'll see what I'm saying when I am, as I go through with this entire build. Alright, so I've already started. I have uh, this part here is the neck, I believe, of the kit. So I've already glued this right here. So I am just going to paint this in one color and then maybe do, well yeah, just paint this in one color right here. And then I'm also gonna paint this in a different color right here and this one right here and then I'm gonna glue them all together and then put them all in in here so basically that's what I'm trying to do I'm gonna be building them and painting them as I go the final um, process I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing some masking uh, when I'm while I'm doing this too all right so that's the plan I'm gonna show you guys the process not each week whenever I upload a video you're gonna see the process I'm gonna be taking while building the skit I right, so I forgot to say I am replacing the rough gold with the splash metalizer gold I, I just feel like it's gonna complement the red gold more than the rough gold so yeah yeah okay so I've decided that for this first half I think I'm just gonna work on painting the head seam line removals you gotta sand your kit so that you're you don't leave any numb marks and all that crap as I go this is usually how I paint but sometimes I change it up and then uh, and um, what I would do is also prime the entire kit after I'm done doing my modification on the kit but uh, in, uh, in this case since I'm just painting this and gonna be doing some masking I'm just gonna paint this as I uh, build and glue them that's what I am doing so me personally I know some people would teach you guys 
that when they send, they go 400, no, like 200, 400, 600, 800, and 1,000. Not me, guys. I like taking shortcuts. I am only sending with a 600. I don't know if people can see the 600 part on here, but this is this is 600 uh, sand stick that I'm using right here. And I've always had pretty good results when it comes to having a smooth surface after by just using the 600 sand stick. Then again, like I said, I am not a freaking Gumpla expert, model kit expert, like those people that you see on those podcasts, talk shows, whatever that you got. So don't listen to a noob like me, all right? This is just how I do my stuff. Now, if you do like the results that I've been coming up with, with all my other customs, man, I guess you could just copy my process, you know? But yeah, so for this first batch of work that I'm going to be doing on this kit, I am just going to do the head and the neck. And then I'll go from there. I'll probably do the body necks and then the arms and then the legs and then the lower torso and then the weapons and stuff you know but yeah so that's the plan I'll probably show you guys my painting process and stuff after i glue some of these parts here too okay so this is gonna be <laughs> this video is gonna be more like educational stuff anyways i might as well show you guys so this kit will have seam lines whenever you build them no matter even though you still gotta glue it like that part right there so we are gonna have well i am gonna have to eliminate that seam line so this is a good example of showing you guys how a person with the average abilities will remove that First of all, you get the uh, Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. You basically, when, wherever you think there, there's gonna be a seam line, you just put a good amount right there, right? You can go right there, just put it on there. And I believe right here too, let's put that there. Cause the, the Thin Cement acts like a uh, glue in a way but what it is is it just melts the plastic together and that's how you eliminate the seam line so now that i put that in in there you just squeeze in if you don't have those fancy freaking um gadgets that those uh fancy gumpla builders have you're gonna have to just hold on to it like that and then at some point it's gonna melt the uh, plastic together to where it creates like a like a like a line there and then what you're gonna have to do is sand it so also what you can do after you put the thin cement on the plastic to melt them together is you could also reinforce it by putting more tamiya thin cement over it okay like that so that the plastic melts together even more boom 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 and right here too see i knew it i knew there was gonna be <coughs> i knew there was gonna be a seam line right there see i was sticking ahead boom i don't know if people could see my hands put more a little bit more Thin cement right here and then just and then just squeeze as hard as you can right there and then eventually you will form that line on your thing here it doesn't take that long it takes about five minutes I would say see I'm using every single finger muscle that I have so this is that line that I'm talking about. I don't know if people could see this. There is now a line 
right there. I wish I had a better zooming uh, lens here, but yeah, it's right there. See that little tiny line right there? That's what you want to see. Because when you see that, that means you could just sand the plastic and then the there won't be any more seam lines because the plastic has, you know, has melted on together. Okay, like right there is going to be, there's that line right there now. I don't know if you can see that. I'll back that up a little bit. Now you can just sand that in about I want to say five ten minutes when it's dry and then there shouldn't be any more seam lines after that you know all right so here's what I'm talking about here now that I am I let this thing dry and then sanded it so now there is no more line right there it's clear let me zoom in a little bit more here there you go no more line no more seam line right there. See, sometimes I know what I'm talking about, all right? So, yeah. It worked. Okay. So, finally done painting the neck and the head. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Look at this color combination. I don't think it's going to look good. But you know what? Maybe once I start doing the masking, it will look better. I don't know. But... The uh, but I'm finally done painting it, that's for sure. All right, so finally done painting the head. Uh, judging from the color scheme that I'm looking at without assembling it, I don't know if it's if this is gonna look good, but you know, maybe if I start masking and then painting them again. It will look okay or something, but you know, hopefully, hopefully it's gonna look good. Uh, I'm just waiting for it to dry and then I'm gonna put them all together. So like I said, um, with this kit, you do need to glue them together, okay? And um, so, uh, so that's what I'm gonna be going through right now. Yeah, a... Uh, at first I was thinking about assembling them together right away and then just masking them and then paint them all all at once but that's just too difficult so what I did is you know I just painted the uh, parts one at a time and then uh, if there is some parts that's not gonna let me give me that opportunity to put them together and then paint them I uh, I just put them all together right away and then I'm just gonna glue them in as I go so this is what it looks like for now I'm gonna put them together and then we'll see if this color scheme works all right <sighs> all right so here we go so this is what I'm I'm gonna show you guys why you need glue when building this kit uh, and uh, also why I couldn't do a proper review because I can't put them all together look at this I'm gonna put this on this is gonna stay in I believe right here right but guess what you making a liar out of me see how easy see how easy that falls off it, it just comes off easy so that's why you need glue to put this kit together because there's barely anything that's uh, that's uh, that you can snap and build on this kit and I'm also trying not to uh, uh, I'm also trying to be careful putting this kit together so yeah so like see it's you know it it stays in there for now but one little flick it comes off that's why I said you need glue with this kit I'm gonna show you another uh, we're gonna stay with this head uh, look at this part right here this goes right here on the head it, it, it won't hold still in there it's just no way oh and it's gonna come off over and over again that's why I said that you're gonna need some glue to put this together like look at that right there boom out okay 
That is why I said you need glue to uh, build this kit. Let me move this out the way. It's a little too bright. What I use for glue, and it's never failed me, is this. It's called Bob Smith Industry, and you only need a little bit of glue. What I usually will do, if I do need to use a glue, so I use a toothpick and uh, dip it in, in there. Because this, this glue dries up very quick very very quick so I'm gonna put it right there then hopefully I am hoping that this stays on in the one go and I put it all wrong because I will be disappointed if it doesn't stay in there Cause you gotta let it dry in there a little bit first. Boom, boom, right there. <laughs> I'm always off center, huh? So I'm gonna keep going here. I'm gonna put the other side armor, head side head armor, right there a little bit. Of course, I'm still gonna do some kind of masking on here, but. I'll do that sometime in the near like when I'm almost done painting the entire kit with the basic colors and then I'll do that there you go got that on and you know, it looks okay yeah maybe here let me center that a little bit yeah not that bad right maybe that's the uh, champagne silver and then the gold and then now I'm gonna put the copper so I also use glue on here so it stays in it stays put in there you know I mean not a lot because if you press the glue in in there it's gonna leak out and you don't want that happening on your build you know so just put in a little bit have some kind of self-control <laughs> when you're putting this on together I'm always off-center boom boom all right head <laughs> see I even you know it even fell off and didn't come off so glue is working so that's what it looks like for now looks pretty cool so far right there the copper and the uh, red gold is blending in pretty good at least for for my taste right there looks pretty cool huh yeah 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 maybe all right so i'm gonna keep going here and then uh, i'll show you guys what the end product looks like it's not really gonna be the end product but like you know the uh, closest thing to an end product all right all right so this is the result of my work never mind this part right here because uh, I had to disassemble it and um, repaint it again and I'm gonna put that back on so just pay attention to it this way instead uh, let me move that in closer and let me shine the brighter light on it instead right there you know um, I kind of don't like the metalizer gold that I chose for it, but it's still fine. It's all right. It could it could be better. I don't know what color I could have chosen to make that a little bit better, but you know. Oh well. <laughs> what can I say? But yeah, this is what he looks so far. It looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like the like a like a. I don't even know how to describe it. It looks like a, a witch robot or something. I don't know. But yeah, we're done. Done with the head. So the next one I'm going to do will be the chest. And then uh, we'll keep going from there. Uh, I'm not completely done with this. Of course, I'm going to freaking do some uh, maybe masking. But I'm kind of satisfied with this look for now. So I don't know if I'm going to do any masking on it. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it could be better. But it came out pretty good. Boom. Subscribe if you like. 
Everybody stay safe and thank you for watching. Bye.